For all data gathered supporting documentary evidence must be retained to substantiate any entries into the NEEP software. BER assessors must endeavour to gather as much relevant data, photographs and supporting evidence as possible to increase the likelihood of an accurate survey and assessment. Zoning Assessors must adhere to the zoning convention as set out in the ISBEM User Guide. The end result of the zoning process is a set of zones which are distinguished from all others in contact with it by differences in their activities, building services or day lighting provisions. The list of activities associated with zones is set out in the NEEP survey guide. There are instances where zones can be merged together, which may help reduce the amount of time and measurement required. For example, two offices can be merged where they are connected to each other and have the same zone activity, building services and access to daylight. ISBEM user guide and the NEEP survey guide provide guidance on merging zones. Small, unconditioned spaces like store cupboards or riser ducts can be absorbed into adjacent conditioned spaces. Dimensions and areas. All dimensions and areas must be measured in line with ISBEM user guide. Global heights, orientation, building area must be determined by the assessor in line with the ISBEM user guide. The zone height is generally either the floor to floor height or for the top story, the floor to soffit height. These dimensions include floor void, ceiling void and floor slab. Additional guidance is set out in the NEEP survey guide for heights of zones for different building configurations. The assessor must also determine the zone area, envelope area, opening areas and associated orientations. The external window area is the structural opening in the wall or roof. This area includes the glass and frame areas. For roof lights in particular, the assessor must be careful in using default values for the surface area ratio and area ratio covered, particularly in conditioned zones or zones with automatic daylight controls. The assessor must determine the surface area ratio for the roof lights. This is the ratio of the roof area covered by an array of roof lights to the total area of roof light glazing. For domed and conical roof lights, the surface area would be larger than 1. It cannot have a value less than 1. All information should be taken and recorded in line with the NEEP survey guide. For more information on zoning, dimensions and areas, visit www.seai.ie forward slash BER.